We have here another interesting integral from MIT 2023, problem seven. We have the integral of all the trig functions squared and added together dx. Okay, I never thought I would see something quite like this. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a silly looking integral, but it's kind of interesting too. So let's see what we can do to simplify this. I mean, now obviously you could kind of just go ahead and integrate with six, you could do six different integrals and it would be fine. But let's see if we can get a little bit of simplification here. So the first thing I noticed, which is gonna be real nice, is sine squared plus cosine squared is one. And I think we can use a couple identities for tan and cotangent. Okay, I'm gonna make use of these two identities over here on the right. So I'm just gonna manipulate them a little bit. So for what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use, for tan squared, I'm gonna write this as secant squared x minus one. The reason I want that is it's just a little easier to integrate secant compared to tangent. And then here with cotangent squared, I'm going to write this one as cosecant squared minus one. Okay, now let's rewrite our integral and see where we're at. So we're going to have here, we're just going to have a one. I'm going to have this secant squared and this secant squared. So I'm going to have two secant squared x. Now we have a minus one. I'm going to take this minus one and I'm just going to eliminate this one because those are zero. Okay. Then we're going to have over here, we're going to have this cosecant squared and this cosecant squared is going to give us two cosecant squared. And then we're just going to have minus one dx. And then at this point, I don't see anything better to do except for just integrate this um, because we have common integrals here for everything. So we'll just have, let's see, we'll have our two up front. This will be our final solution. So the integral of secant squared is just tan x. Then the integral of cosecant squared is a minus cotangent x, so we'll have a minus here. And then minus one is gonna be minus x plus c, and that's it. So I'd say this is actually a pretty easy integral that's just kind of long, and maybe they hope that you'd integrate one at a time, which would be slower, and you'd spend some time, but otherwise I think it was a pretty easy one. So we'll stop it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.